We're here with Antonio, the magician Esfandiario. Ends up with 2.2 million. He started off as chip leader, had a bit of a rough day, but you're back. Very rough day, ups and downs. I pulled a huge bluff on Vanessa, which didn't work. Um, going back, I still like my play. And then I roller coaster it up and down and whatnot. And now I have 2.2, so I'm pretty stoked. Let's talk about your final table. We had a, a couple friends at the table, good friends, Real Mitzi and uh, Andrew Robo. But you play really hard against those guys. What can you tell the amateurs out there about how to play against your friends? It's funny. As I was sitting there, I was just thinking that Robo and Mizzy were like dear friends, but we're sitting there playing for a million dollars and we're trying to beat each other, you know, j just as much as we would anybody that we don't know. And so uh, it's a unique friendship that professional gamblers Maybe have. more. Oh, yeah. It would, <laughs> it would feel good to bust the maze for sure. All right. So you're going in 2.2. It's about the middle of the pack. Uh, how do you like your chances tomorrow? I mean, I'm at least one in six. Right? I think I'm a little below average, but uh, it's anybody's game. And it's, uh, I'm very excited. It's my birthday, so I think I have it is your birthday, a little, no, you know, I, if there's someone up there, I think he's with me. Your first final table, uh, the first season of the World Poker Tour, next time you wanted a comment. Feels like it's been about 82 years. <laughs> Doesn't it feel about 82 years? It feels like a long Maybe time. Maybe 78, I don't know. But you're back, and you have one of the most famous pictures of all time in the World Poker Tour. Well, I'm going to have one tomorrow. Maybe you can do the same tomorrow. Good luck so. to you. Thank you, Matt. All right.